Hi, my name is Richard Pena. I'm an associate professor of film studies at Columbia University and one of the faculty producers of the film glossary. The reason behind uh, this program was originally to provide a kind of extracurricular survey for students who were taking my introduction to film class. So this was a way in which for those people who are studying film or would like to know something about film, they could first get visual introduction into various types of film form and film usage. In addition to myself, uh, James Seamus, Larry Engel. As time has gone on, we hope to expand to many other people in the university. We've begun at first with the sort of rudiments of film style and language. There's no reason, of course, why we can't eventually expand this to include many other aspects, cultural and historical of film. How can I have access to this compendium of terms? You have several different choices in our glossary. One is to use our drop-down menu. You can also look at a list of all the different terms alphabetized here. Or finally, punch in the particular term that you're looking for into our search menu and that will give you access to it. In the film glossary, we have several different kinds of clips. Some of the clips are from films made by students right here at Columbia University from our filmmaking program. Others are from Hollywood classics. We also have clips from filmmakers from all over the globe. And we also feature some clips from avant-garde films. We also give you several options when you're watching our film clips. You can watch clips here in the glossary in several ways. You can watch the clip on its own terms, simply view it, or you can view it with commentary by one of our faculty participants. For example, in this clip from The Musketeers of Pig Alley by D.W. Griffith, you have commentary by Professor James Seamus. A really interesting dialectic in the use of close-ups is the dialectic between, on the one hand, really getting a sense of the reality of the performer's face. And here you see Elmer Booth right there looking at us and looking around the corner. But also the presence of the camera. So it's both realistic and fantastic. Or you can also watch a number of our clips with annotated commentary, where you not only get to hear one of our faculty participants, but get to see certain choice details of the images which the faculty member has decided to point out. But Melier does establish an element of cinema that comes to be known as mise-en-scene, namely the placing of actors in action within the frame, as you can see here with a wonderful full entrance from screen left of the astronomic cheerleaders. Commonly called staging, mise-en-scene and the long single take uh, become popular, especially in the middle 1900s, with Italian neorealism and the French New Wave. Let's take a walk through the glossary and see how we can really use it. Suppose you wanted to examine the term close-up or discover what it means. The glossary will give you a definition. It will also bring you to two different clips which illustrate uses of the close-up. Both of them are by D.W. Griffith. And with this glossary, you can actually see them at the same time so that you can compare the use of close-up in two Griffith films. Your search into one term can often lead you into searching for others as well. For example, if one wanted to look up lighting, you would be led to not only a definition of the term, but an example of its use in The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. But reading that text associated with it or hearing that commentary would also lead you to our section on mise-en-scene. So you would understand lighting both in and of itself and as part of a larger use or form within cinema of how directors create atmosphere through sets, through lighting, and through acting styles. Once exploring mise-en-scene, you might be led to the section on camera movement, which would then further divide into dolly shots, pan shots, crane shots, handheld shots. And then after going through those, you'll be led back to camera movement once again. I hope this brief walkthrough through our film language glossary has been helpful to you. 
My name is Richard Pena. Hope to see you at the movies.